Hey YouTube, this is Itchy, and I wanted to um, give you a radiation update for Europe. Uh, because of a nosebleed situation that was going on there the other day and some high readings that got posted on Any News, I checked back on the Any News forum today and uh, there were some mildly elevated readings in France and in England. And I'll put a link to this uh, data source page so you can check it out. Now, on the day of the nosebleed reports, which were coming in on Twitter, um, this was what the jet stream looked like. Or, I'm sorry, the uh, water vapor. We'll check the jet stream in just a moment. And let me advance this a little bit so you can see uh, where this air mass went afterward. And that is corresponding to some high readings that are coming in today on your depth. Now the Yurdep site is a data exchange platform. Uh, they say right on their home page that the data is invalidated. Um, this would be the button that you push to get to the map however when you do that there's a disclaimer uh, that prevents me from showing you the map in its entirety so I'll put a link to this below so you can check it out yourself and it is a very interesting source of info um, you're able to look up through various tables all the different uh, radionuclides and see exactly in what countries they've been measured and I've actually gone through that list already and, and try to hit the top five. And I'm going to share those results with you, but let me overlap a better map of Europe here. Okay, high gamma readings are currently being reported and were reported also yesterday in Portugal, in uh, three locations in France, three locations in Germany, three locations in Finland, which is right here, two locations in Turkey, and there were no data plots for gamma readings in Poland or in the Ukraine. However, I did see other data from those areas so that I know they are measuring. Uh, let's move on to iodine-131 levels and those uh, were detected today in Croatia and Slovenia and iodine-133 although uh, yesterday it was showing up in this area also today the data is not available. Also yesterday when I checked the uh, cesium reports there were a, a few scattered areas where um, cesium was being detected. However, today when I tried to pull up that data, it's again not available. And the gross beta counts were elevated pretty much the entire perimeter of Poland. And there were increased alpha readings in Belgium and the Netherlands. Now when you look at the Yurdep map, you see all these green areas. The, the blue is actually where there's uh, radiation being detected and, and you can see it's over a, a widely scattered area. Now I don't look at this map often enough to know really what's normal or not. And the reason that uh, Germany is so well lit is because they have, uh, I believe, over a thousand gamma spectrometers uh, measuring. So now that you know the areas where the, the data is being reported, I want to scroll through this again. And you can see the concentration that was in England is being widely dispersed um, from Croatia, Croatia all the way up into Norway.
Here is another um, water vapor analysis from NASA Earth Science Office. Now it's a global composite. I, I don't know why we're missing um, data on these areas. I've seen a, a few other YouTubers post uh, some different composites that, that look a lot better than this one, but this is all I could really uh, come up with right now. Here's Japan. And this is for December the 13th. Our west coast, here are the bands that we looked at earlier on the U.S. forecast. Here is the uh, water vapor coming up from Baja in Mexico into uh, Texas and, and New Mexico. And that will be extending all the way up into Michigan and then moving through uh, the northern uh, part of New England. And then onward from that, of course, it's going to head to Europe. The time frame for these releases occurring at the Fukushima plant are approximately uh, a day and a half to two days to reach Hawaii or Alaska, approximately three days to reach the west coast of Canada and the west coast of the U.S., about four days to be in the latitude of Oklahoma, five days to be on our east coast, and then about seven days to reach Europe. So when we see strange things happening on the uh, cameras at the plant, it hits us in about three days and Europe in seven. And of course that's a, a very gross estimation. Um, and it's going to vary a lot depending on wind speeds and, and uh, storms in between these areas. Uh, but that is a, a good ballpark figure to go by. And here is another uh, jet stream visualization. And you can see here, uh, you can just barely make out Michigan, our east coast, and Maine. Here is the jet stream going right over to Portugal, England. And I'm going to share with you a, a couple of links for radiological monitoring. Um, this one shows levels detected between November and December, and there's tables for iodine-131 cesium-137, cesium-134, and I believe the LD stands for low dose. Um, so I'll include a link to this. And there is also data that's posted from the Norwegian Radiation Protection Authority. And this is also updated on a regular basis. Lucky you people in Norway. And I'll put a conversion table in the links below, too, because uh, there, there's different measurements that are being used. Um, I prefer CPMs or millisieverts, um, but some of the European data is actually in, in Becquerel's, and there's many, many different uh, ways of, of measuring radiation, depending on sometimes if it's air or soil or water or gas. So I'll put a link to a, a table below so you can see what I'm talking about. Now this is the um, rainfall prediction for the next 72 hours in Europe. And it looks like Norway, Finland, uh, the northern, actually all of Germany and Poland and Belarus uh, is going to get hit. Also, um, the western coast of Italy. Sorry, that's cut off a little bit. Let me move it. I'll put a link to this below also. Ah, can't move it. <laughs> Sorry. 
and uh, this coast where there's been some high readings of uh, uh, gamma and, and beta counts in the last couple of days. And I, again, Portugal um, and in the very northernmost region of Spain. Looks like all those areas are going to have rain. Um, there is, of course, that, that outside chance, um, really not a remote chance, that, that France has had some problems with some of their reactors over the last few months. So we don't know what kind of releases um, may be coming out of this area too. And of course, with the, the wind direction and the jet stream direction, uh, that, that puts everybody downwind from France at risk. But regardless of where the radiation is coming from, the mitigation is the same. So I'm going to put a, a list of um, websites that list full mitigation uh, ideas and, and things that you can implement to reduce your exposure. Um, the, the biggest ones are the weather and drinking water and dairy. So if you're filtering your drinking water using reverse osmosis, you're doing a lot just there. Uh, if you're limiting your dairy or if you, your family still wants to drink milk, go with a higher fat content because the, the fat cells actually repel radiation. The more watery milk is going to contain higher levels. And I didn't know that we've been doing it wrong for the last few months. Uh, I just learned that recently. So we learn as we go. Um, if there is anyone who sees this forecast and would like to start doing them for Europe, I will share every link and uh, resource paper, research paper, anything that I have to help you with this because it's not something I can do on a, on a regular basis, but I'm going to try to do it whenever um, I see any indication from, from any news or any other sources that there could be something going on. Um, I did check nosebleed reports again and it turned out the day after the increase in nosebleeds uh, showed up in uh, the Oxford area of the UK that London had some very high readings in their rainfall. So um, yeah, this is a, a lot of, of stuff to sort through. A, a lot of people use nosebleed as a figment of speech and there really isn't a way to trace where these tweets are coming from uh, unless it says right on there the, the city or location so it's not a real um, good resource to use but I will keep my eye on it and anyone who has any questions about doing a forecast for this area please PM me and I will send you everything I have thanks everyone stay safe